Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. It is that time again, six star awakening time. We got a really fun one this time. We're gonna go a bit crazy in today's video. I hope you will enjoy it. We're gonna be checking out Akoth the Seared. Here he is, fully awakened, six star. This is one of the first champions you get. I think he's the second champion from Doom Tower Hard. Uh, sorry, Doom Tower Normal Secret Rooms, of course, just from Normal. Actually, he was the first AoE HP burn champion I had on my account, but today we are on Smithers 101's account. Big shout out to Smithers for letting us jump on. And obviously we're a bit limited here, right? Earlier game accounts, so we don't have crazy gear. We're not gonna go for like a crazy nuke Akoth. Though you can build him to do that, to hit hard. Let me show you how I've built him up because like I said, we're going a bit crazy today. I want to test out a blessing that seems on the surface to be just really bad, but I want to see how it works. I want to see how it works. So here you go. You see, we're not fully rolled up. We don't have crazy glyphs or anything. What I've tried to do with this Akoth is to get his accuracy really, really high. Then he also has really high defense. He even has a bit of crit rate. So he should actually hit decently hard, do some fairly decent upfront damage. But we're gonna be focusing on the burn because what I wanna try out today, guys, is the incinerate blessing. Increasing the damage dealt by HP burns in the, are uh, in the arena only placed by this champion and also destroying max HP from the same amount of damage the HP burn does. It's gonna give us a bunch of defense, really nice, some, a little bit of HP, big chunk of accuracy and some speed as well. So yeah, I, I mean, this bless, it seems on the face of it to not be super useful. Well, let's go in and let's see what it can actually do. Akoth has a nice kit, by the way, guys. He's the AoE HP burn. It's a 20% chance, but for each enemy alive, it goes up 20%. So in the arena, for example, with four enemies alive, that's a 100% chance. Three turn cooldown, damage based off defense. He has a four turn cooldown AoE, also scales off defense, puts out a bit of a shield. And then he has a fun passive. Uh, 10 bucks to 25% chance to place a fear on an enemy whenever they receive damage from a HP burn debuff placed on themselves. So it's when they, I think when they take their own turn, they can put a fear on themselves. It's not going to do like AoE fears uh, and stuff like that when it starts proccing that AoE damage. But I do think Incinerate should. Uh, when, you know, when the HP burn procs, it does a bit of damage to everyone. I think all of that's going to decrease max HP. I think it's worth trying it out. He decreases crit rate with his A1 as well. And here we go. We can see his stats when we uh, when we bless him up right here. 5,000 defense, guys. 228 speed and over 500 accuracy. So definitely there's potential here as well if you wanted to repurpose him with a different blessing probably for, I'll just throw this out for Hydra. You could absolutely change the blessing. For Hydra, you could have him be your cruelty stacker. The attack is really wasted and the crit damage is not bad though, but he would stack up that decreased defense pretty quick. Um, it gets a bit awkward then apart from that. Commanding presence is a good safe option with HP and strength and he could be like a decent, uh, uh, champion for your team bringing you that stronger aura and the hp makes his shield stronger but he's a good fill for hydra as well guys of course incinerate the stats are good but this effect only works in arena which is why i'm saying that for his masteries i've tried to make something like this so he's already half built and i just finished off the tree with master hexer extend the burns we're gonna give him helm smasher just let him hit harder uh again you could go for eagle eye get him even higher. If we gave him Eagle Eye, he'd be up to 550 accuracy right now. But I think we're gonna have absolutely tons. Let's just dive in and let's see in the arena. Let's just see what happens because I'm really not sure what to expect, to be honest. So this is the team I threw together. We have a Mithrala who can come in and cleanse us. She can also give us increased defense to up ACOT's damage. So I think the shielding, the cleansing, all of this is going to help us stay alive and sort of wear them down with poisons and hexes. Akoth, I'm going to prioritize his A2 because his AI is not very smart. Still, the Drake's in there to heal us, to revive us, and Lydia uh, to decrease defense and weaken and to start blocking revive attempts. I don't know. I, let's just see. Let's dive in. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just really curious to see what's going to happen. Um, with this incinerate blessing, we'll leave it on full auto. And let's see how we do. So we're obviously going to be vulnerable here at the start of the fight. Ouch, that is a big hit. Really starts to rip us apart. So we don't have, you know, like really good arena gear here. It's just not something we have on this account. So that's something to be scared of. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Akoth just murdered them. A what was that? Akoth. Akoth, we're supposed to test out the burn. He just killed every... Okay, well, let's not try that team. Here's uh, This is the tanky team. 
Uh, ooh, this is this is, this is an even tankier team. Let's do this one. Here we go. Uh, so how will this burn work? Let's see. Again, we have to hope that we don't get killed here at the start. Ninja's not the biggest nuker, so I'm not too worried about it. We're certainly getting smacked around. Here we go. The decreased defense and weaken goes out on some of them. Looks like, I know, Valkyrie has block debuffs on. That's how she's resisting. Maybe it's an immunity set, Valkyrie. We're going to come out, put the hex on. Mithrala living dangerously. Mithrala AI, I think we need to have more debuffs out than this for her to start uh, cleansing people. She has lived. Oh my goodness, he just did 72,000 damage to Arbiter. This is what I was saying. Like, I, I was initially thinking I would do just a pure nuke build. Um, and you could with Akoth. It's really not bad. He absolutely could be like a pure nuke champion. Uh, he hits pretty hard. He's not the hardest hitting champ in the game, but he does have two AoEs. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like late game, even if you had him six star awaken like this, he's not going to be a late game defensive nuker. The actual legendary defensive nukers are better, you know, like Ragash, etc. But I mean, he's no slouch with these hits. I think it's surprising, isn't it? This might be even the biggest brain play because I know how I built this champion. I, I literally did it. This was me. <laughs> you know, this is, this is not some weird hack. This is actually me who made the video. He's done it again. I can't believe it. Um, I don't know. Let's try this team. Are they tanky enough? I don't know. Uh, but I know how I built him. And I still didn't expect him to hit this hard. Obviously, we've got the decreased defense weaken out. I guess that's not what I'm quite used to. I don't usually use that with my nukers. It's a big hit. We got, unfortunately, none of these enemies have burns left on them. The rest of them all died. Unfortunate. Well, let's let's get a win for the dude anyway. But I didn't expect him to hit this hard. And I knew what I was doing. You could certainly bait people in. They will look at this team and go, man, there's no damage on this team. Easy. It's a six-star Akoth with this burn mastery. What an idiot. He's just building this burn mastery. This guy has no clue what he's doing. And then you build your Akoth to hit hard. Uh, and he uh, he does hit pretty hard. He does hit pretty hard. You can see with the Petrify, he did 15k. Petrify really reduces their damage taken. Okay, we need to find a team that doesn't get one shot. I I didn't mean to build him this strong, but apparently I did. Okay, okay. Um, could be annoying with Bad L. Both of these teams here seem good. Both of these teams seem tanky. Uh, we could get outsped, and they could get block debuffs on it does look likely okay this seems fine though so they got block debuffs on that's a bit unfortunate but uh i mean that the nuke's pretty big i think that leorius just kills us <laughs> right oh he got healed okay that's good that might let us live okay okay it's not looking the worst i mean it's not looking great but it could be a lot worse we survived i mean we are a fairly tanky team in a weird sort of way we do have a no burns out though unfortunately they did block it but uh, yeah, so I mean, this is the difficulty of this of this um, this blessing as well, right? This is definitely the difficulty of it. It it's kind of hard to actually get the burns out there, and like you, you need a really you need a really specific team comp. That's the kind of thing I'm finding. You need a super specific team comp. You need to have the enemy team be really tanky. You need it to be a long fight so you can get value out of that. Uh, but then you also need them to ha somehow have built a really tanky, long-lasting team. Here we go, we got some burns out, and this got stripped off by, by Brogni. Yeah, you gotta have the, like, who is gonna build a tanky team, and you're gonna have a long fight, but they're not gonna be bringing in debuffs cleansing, and they're not gonna be bringing in block debuffs, or high resistance champions. It does seem a bit awkward. Uh, I mean, Nuke Akoth, he's sort of doing the work though, a little bit, he is slowly getting them down. Uh, well, bam, he's going in with his nukes. It's doing a bit of damage. Not as much here. I mean, the lack of the Savage set here at this point is definitely hurting us. There's a lot of defense on this enemy team with the Duchess passive, the Brogni shields, all the rest. Uh, he's back up Leorius. Good news is that Duchess is down. That's the hardest one. Look at that 45k nuke from Akoth right there. What we're hoping for is that by the time that... Um, What's her face? Rector Drath comes around to her revive. She's just gonna miss it. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I think the second team that we could fight there was actually looking pretty good. Yeah. Let's, let's get him down. Let's do it. Akoth. Nuker. You know you want to. He's got the increased defense. This is your time, Akoth. This is your time. But yeah. He's a great Hydra champion as well. Um, so that would probably be my suggestion, honestly. 
Incinerate is looking a bit underwhelming. All right, can we kill Rector Drath? <laughs> can we do it? Akoth is going in with the nuke. He did 25k to her with no uh, no crit, which is not too bad. So there we go. Again, he did lots of damage. Right, let's try this team. They have a cleanse as well. So it might not work. Um, that's sort of the difficulty of it. I mean, it was worth a shot, wasn't it? I think it was worth a shot to give it a try and just to sort of see how it would happen. He's gone in with a nuke, but again, it didn't really help. They had the block debuffs up first. Uh... So we might still win this one, but let's let's skip this one out. Let's let's have let's have one more try. Is there one more team in there? Is there anything that we can do? Tanky. Again, you can see this team is tanky, but they've got the block debuffs, they got the cleanse. This team they've got the cleanse. It's so hard to actually make it work, isn't it? Like these aren't crazy team. Oh man, now I'm looking at it. It's just falling apart. <laughs> this whole the team concept is just gone, isn't it? It's just too hard to make it work. Let, let, let me try it. We could try change the team. Let me let me see. Can we get like block debuffs or a strip? Be right back. Actually, I should jump in, guys. In case you're wondering, Nubkex, <laughs> there's an obvious buff stripper to put in here. I'm sure you're all, I forgot to say this. We don't have Yorost on this account, unfortunately, so we can't try it that combo. And we do have a Rian. However, Rian is level 40, I think. He's down here. Yeah, you see, Rihanna is level 40. So unfortunately, we just don't have the possibility to test him out. Um, let, let me just try one more little tweak, and then we can come back to this another time when he's a bit further on. He has Rian, he has Yorost, and we could try some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, let's just see. Do we have a buff stripper? I'll be right back. Okay, here's the play, guys. Here's the last attempt. This is what we're going to try. We've got Seeker. He's going to uh, potentially give us increased defense with his passive but he can give us turn meter fill, so we hopefully cut in. We've got Lady Kimmy, who is going to come in and potentially put block buffs out on the enemy and then speed us up. That will hopefully let Sil land or stun. We can land this. We'll try it out, guys. We'll try it out. <laughs> let's let's see if we can make it happen. Will it work uh, against this team with the Mithrala? It could be kind of awkward. I don't know. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a spin. Um, okay, so Mithrala did resist. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate we get the burn oh, I, I unfortunately Mithral she was no she got stunned she got stunned okay we're in business guys we're in business so look at this their health bar is starting to tick down ever so slightly look at that the damage as well from brimstone it's certainly not amazing but you can see when those burns are ticking the damage they're doing isn't too too bad okay okay there's some possibility there now unfortunately they got this back up again which is not good Let's see what we can do. We're smacking the Duchess. Okay. You can see the ma the, the decreased max HP. It is there, but it's it's fairly minimal. Uh, the burns were doing like some okay damage, like some all right damage. Oh, yeah, we're really being messed up here. Yeah, I look, <laughs> I really think we can leave it there. Um, I think you could revisit this with your Austin Rian. I think that could be interesting. And let's say a Withier. If you had Euros, Rian, Withier, I think that could be an interesting combo where Withier is just pumping out the healing, Euros is protecting, and you sort of wear them down with poisons and burns. Rian has a really cool revive effect. I think there's some potential there. Um, Rian gives you the buff strip, which is kind of essential, right, to make this sort of thing work. But I just, I just do think, as you can see, it's pretty difficult. We've got the increased accuracy on, uh unfortunately right here we could get we could get a burn on a couple of them let's see okay and she's just used the cleanse <laughs> it's so awkward yeah i just i just don't see this blessing working I, I think maybe there's some super niche team but no generally speaking let's be honest it's no it's a no it's a no this blessing just doesn't work it just doesn't work because yeah it's just that fundamental question you use it against a tanky team so let's rebuild him here at the end of the video. Let's not have this be for nothing. Let's not have it be for nothing. You'd use it against a tanky team, but guess what? The tanky team, they're coming with cleanses and block, block debuffs. So it just doesn't make sense. Right, if we were to rebuild him, <clears throat> which I do think that you should, having, having just tested that out, I do think you're two strong options. I think commanding presence is a strong option for a big chunk of aura, for uh, which is pretty good. I do think that cruelty could be okay as well. Uh, it's not bad. The attack is wasted, but it uh, it could totally work. It could totally work. Let's assume uh, maybe 
Let's assume maybe commanding presence for now. Um, let's take a quick gander at the Hydra teams. What sort of teams do we have? Do we have any sort of setup here? So we've got some pretty decent champs. Okay, we've got pretty decent champs, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we got a Soul Reap on a Drexthar. Really? Okay, so Drexthar's kind of built to nuke in a weird way. Huh. Uh, interesting. Yeah, um, but he could fit in, in in a style of team like this. A bit awkward. You actually don't really... I'd say you don't really need him, to be honest with this. But yeah, if I was to... Um, if I was to rebuild him, what would I do? Uh, I would be going in. If you're using him just for spider, you don't want him to do any damage. So you really want to leave him in as lit. He's at the top. As little gear as possible for spider. You just want him... You'd basically have him naked. Maybe give him an accuracy chest piece. Maybe some speed boots. And you'd want him to just be quick enough to go before the spiderlings, to put out the burn, to do as little damage as possible. And that's it, right? He just puts out the burns. The fears kind of help lock down the spiders. And there you go. You've got a really good HP burner. Uh, it's very important not to build him for damage because as you saw, he does hit pretty hard. And that will ruin your spider team. If you're building him just for Hydra and for faction wars, what I'd be trying to do... I do think I would build him actually something quite like this. Now, I would actually ditch this accuracy. I'd get that lower uh, for Faction Wars and for even Doom Tower Hard, even for Hydra. Really, probably 300 resist uh, accuracy is, is really more than enough. Now, for Doom Tower Hard, it can go all the way up to about 350 required, but you can have Masteries helping that. You can have Auras helping. You might have increased accuracy. So you can sort of, you know, consider what you're going to do. This accuracy is only this high to help with the arena, um, and it didn't really work. <laughs> I, didn't, I thought it didn't really work, so forget about it. But you can get him with 100% crit rate, okay? High defense, high health, high speed, you know, decent accuracy, average accuracy is going to be enough. And he's going to come in and what he does for you, he's going to have two AoEs, which actually hit pretty hard. The shield's going to help you stay alive. The burn, he should have enough accuracy to place the burn and it's going to be really good. That burn in Hydra, in Doom Tower, in Faction War, it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, he's going to help your team stay alive. Brings a bit of crowd control. Not a bad aura either. And with the blessing, yeah, it's... I mean, you could leave him with Incinerate. The stats on it are really good, to be honest. I'm going to leave him with it, actually, for now. Because I do think the stats are solid. Uh, and it does open him up if you're earlier in the game. as maybe maybe an option for Arena. I just do think it's, it's kind of awkward, right? It is a bit awkward. Maybe it is mostly useful, to be honest, against those speed teams. Where that extra tick, you know, that extra tick of burn... Can make all the difference that extra burn damage actually hurts them quite a bit uh maybe that is the way to do it so we're going to come in here he's unfortunately being stunned yes yeah, so we're going to get taken down so he needs to be with a cleanse in this sort of team you could run him in stone skin as like a stone skin nuker which is a little bit cheeky we're going to get smacked here oh my god we're taken down we're just too slow <laughs> we're too slow with not enough defenses on us for that sort of team but yeah yeah there you go bit underwhelmed to be honest I say he's not a champion you'd be rushing out to get a six-star soul for. But hey, if you get a soul in him and he's early enough in the game, could be all right. There you go. Thanks to Smithers for letting us on. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, basically a failure, really. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.